In today's video, what we're going to be doing is breaking down the LTR 450. All right, hey YouTube, my name is Kenny. Thank you for checking out the channel. In today's video, we're going to be just disassembling this machine. We did take it down the road in the last video, as you saw. I'm going to show you a little footage right here. <sighs> again and whoops neutral and the machine ran fine we didn't have really any problems with it it did good once we made sure it was getting fuel so now that we have it back in the shop today we're going to just start it one more time and make sure it's going to do what it's supposed to do and then we're just going to get this thing disassembled get the parts in different piles we're going to try to keep everything at this bay here reason being is because here in the next video i'm going to be pulling my truck in here and i'm going to be hoping to do the cam phasers on it and this might take a week or so and i plan on getting this one done this week so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing disassembled, give you all what I'm gonna be doing, give you all the ideas of what I'm gonna be having with it, but not going crazy into detail. So it's gonna be a lot of time lapse in this video, a lot of voiceover in this video, but if you do have any questions, drop them in the comment section and we'll just be getting to it. All right, so we're gonna be doing what we discussed. We're gonna go ahead and just get this thing started, make sure it's going to be able to take throttle as it did. I mean, at this point, we kind of know what the issue is and the tank is not, been thoroughly cleaned so there might have been some settling but eh, we'll give it a shot So that does exactly what it's supposed to. We're going to take a walk around and then we're going to start getting things taken off this machine. All right, everyone, I say it took throttle fine. We're going to take a quick walk around, but understand that this, the purpose behind this and this channel, I feel is more or less to give you all some confidence. I'm not a professional or anything, but I feel like I do better than beginner work. Just a couple things that I purchased to kind of build my shop, a little investment, got me a small powder coating machine right there from East, from Eastwood. Got me an air compressor when it was back on sale a couple years ago or a year ago from Tractor Supply. Got me a double oven that I just wired into some 220. Able to powder coat some parts. And since the compressor, I got me a cheap Harbor Freight spray gun. I mean, just take your time and do these things and you can have great results. Maybe not like super professional, but definitely a lot better than <laughs> what's on this one. But let's get close to it. Yeah, so the original plan is to make this thing look better. I am going to have to get new rubbers for the front. That's no huge issue there. These front wheels look good. I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to take them silver or if I'm just going to keep them black. I'm thinking I'm going to go silver. The rear ones hold. I'm just going to take some of those dings out, just um, a little hammer and chisel and just clean those up pretty good. Probably rerun those, powder coat those back the same color as I do the front ones, rerun the rear tires. Nerf bars are going to come off and get powder coated. Same silver, black, probably black. Front bumper is going to go silver. Rear bumper is going to go silver. Seat is probably going to go back to the blue. Since I have to buy an aftermarket seat, I might put the um, 
orange or the yellow ribs for the Suzuki color in there to just, you know, tone it up a little bit. Going to just put a simple bumper pad on there, clean all this stuff up right here. It looks decently. It looks like it'd be cleanable. It looks decent. Maybe a quick Cerakote on all this stuff. Just make it look good. Stem looks straight-ish. Pretty straight, no problem there. We know we need a new bushing. We're going to get the front painted. All this freaking overspray, man. Look at that. Just, just overspray everywhere. Nothing to clean this up, but... You know, when people come and I'm going to sell this machine, you just want it to look nice. Debating on what I'm going to do with all this master sealer and all this stuff, how I'm going to clean all that up. A lot of Cerakoting is what I'm seeing is going to be getting happening. The hardware is probably going to all get Cerakoted silver instead of powder coated the black that I usually do. It just gives it a nice fresh look and keeps it close to that OEM zinc color. Motor's going to get a good soda blast going on. I am probably going to look into gasket kit. I'm not really sure how far in I want to go into taking this apart and cleaning this. And of course, I'm going to take it off and soda blast it, but I like to do these covers and I like to um, actually circle those or sandblast those and powder coat those like a charcoal, make them a little bit darker. But yeah, we got a lot of a good bit of work. Front, rear, springs all need to get powder coated. But we're gonna set the camera up, take this apart, and just start getting it done. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up. It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror, if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity To find your identity, it's mind over everything So it's been roughly an hour of me turning the machine down We're gonna go around it But it didn't take too, too long And the reason why an hour you know, I got this far in one hour is because I wasn't being delicate with anything. Nothing's freshly powdered, nothing's super clean, nothing's super nice. And I did want to label my bag. I'm going to show you all that. I'm stopping right now, even though it's daylight out, just because I have to work tonight. But we're going to continue this video, and I'm going to show you the machine first. We're going to get it. By the end of this video, everything is going to be in stacks, though. All right, we got the front bumper off. We have the control center here where the ECU and all the electronics go. We have the grip on this side off with the electronics and things off. I do have to get the clutch lever off on this side. Over here, I have to get the brake master cylinder on all that stuff off and the lever. Bar is going to be off. Steam is going to have to come all out. We're going to have to get all this stuff out of here, and that's all going to be going bags as well. We're basically naked. Battery box, a couple bolts. That's going to be coming out. I got to get the oil drained out of it and see what it's going to be looking like, but... Everything else in the back is off and over there in the corner. We'll show you that later on once we get everything in stacks, but I still need to get the wheels off, get the axle and hub and all that stuff separated, get the front tires off. Everything's got to come apart. Oil tank's got to go over there. Motor's going to definitely need to get some cleaning up going on to it. Like I said, the, this is going to come clean, no, no problem. And this down here is just going to get repowder coated. So that's all going to look nice and fresh and clean by the end of this. But I'm going to walk over here real quick and I'm going to show you all the bolts that we have all set up and everything and how we have them all labeled so you all understand it. I should get a job with alloy bolts the way these look. So as I stated, I wanted to make sure I knew where everything went. Some of this hardware I'm going to use, some of it's not going to use. So the front bumper, I will reuse, I will reuse all that. All that's going to get blasted and cleaned up and look good. Some of these hard bolts will not be, but... I wanna make sure I keep them all here so I know how many bolts go back in and I can match the red size up. So for example, the air box. The air box has two bolts. One of them's a 10 millimeter and one's an Allen head. We're gonna get them post, both chains to be the same thing. So we have everything here, coil, air box, you know exactly what you're looking for. The chain slide, front bumper, seat latch, everything here. We have our whole wiring harness all over here. We're gonna get it cleaned up a little bit, probably rewrapping in some fresh tape. 
got the vinyl stretch tape and make sure we just eliminate all that overspray. Got a new key coming in the mail. Got our plate right here with all of our electronics. We're just going to get it cleaned up as well and everything looking nice. And that's it. All right, so next time you're going to see me, I might have a different color shirt on and we're going to be getting this thing the rest of the way broken down. So as I told you, we will be back and I'll probably have on a different shirt. Not 100% sure. Not 100% sure if that's the case or not. Hands are filthy. But we got this machine stripped down and parts everywhere. So flip the camera around. We're going to talk about what we got going, what our plans are for everything, and then get this one closed up. Next video, you'll be seeing these parts come together and getting it reassembled. Not a huge long process with this one, but we're going to get it all on camera. All right, so we still have our pile of stuff over here. Nerf bar is going to get blasted, powder coated back black. The hardware that you see, like this piece of hardware here, pretty rusted. We're going to powder coat that back silver. All the OEM brake levers and all that stuff. This is all just going to get really clean good. I'm not really going to do much powder coat in it. Just clean it up really good. Hit it with a wire wheel. Make it look a lot better. We're going to get all the overspray off of all this plastics. Clean it all off. Get all that extra stuff off there. Clean up everything nice and good. Make it look good. Radiators, hose, water. Great. Don't leak or anything, but we're going to get it cleaned up. Get the overspray off this exhaust. We're going to take the tip off and then kind of fix the tip because it kind of is uh, a little messed up there so we're going to kind of clean it up and make it look a lot better tie rod ends i'll probably powder coat those silver as well just have a nice fresh look up there i do have a few new parts coming in like the radiator fan and whatnot uh new steering stem as you see that one's bent new indicator lights got a chain slide coming the old can here it's going to get cleaned up, and I'm just going to see what it's going to look like. If it looks pretty decent, it is kind of hidden in there. We'll just leave it how it is and uh, run it. Things don't need to look new, but a lot of things just don't look good. Frame, straight, no issues, kind of rough condition. So we're going to pressure wash it, hit it with another coat of color, clean it up, make it look really, really, really good. The rear swing arm is going to get blasted and powder coated as well. I have a bolt that needs to come out here. It's broke off in there. As well as the threads here on this that hold the fuel pump, they need to be retapped. Linkage and everything on that is all tight. Plastics I've been cleaning up for a day or so. They were white. So this is what the plastics look like now. The front ones, I don't think they look bad at all. We still have to get some of the paint off of this one here. As you see, like I said, they look kind of rough. Get those cleaned up real good. We're going to get new tires on the front. Get these wheels off, get them bead locked, get them blasted, and get these powdered. I'm thinking they're going to go into the black pile. The reason being is because I don't want to buy new rear ones, and I know the silver will show too many imperfections. They're not perfect. I'm not trying to set them up as perfect, but I don't sell things that look like this. Uh, here we are to the motor. We're going to take the covers off here since they're seen. We're going to blast that, get these powder coated it fresh. We're going to just try our best to clean all this up and see how that's going to look after I take a little wire brush to it or something. I'm hesitant on using that motor cleaner or that aluminum brightener because it will strip the zinc off everything and actually make things worse. So I have new gases coming in the mail. Go get this powder coated cleaned up. All this stuff is gonna look really good. I'd say one week I should have this, this painted and the front A-arms done, put back on. Motor should be cleaned up pretty decent and put back on. But yeah. Also over here, like I said, I got a mess. Got my front bumper soaking in the powder strip. No, it is the uh, Quick Cut 3. Soaking in there. Got to clean all these parts up. <laughs> I got a lot of work ahead of me. 
Going to take the shock supplier, get all the overspray off of those, powder coat the springs back red, clean the hardware up, just get it clean as possible, and try not to strip the zinc off. Going to put new bearings in the front up here. Not sure if I'm going to run those real spacious back on the rear or not, but yeah, yeah. Got our work cut out for us. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. You'll be seeing in this machine turn around. I do have a few hundred bucks, maybe like six, seven hundred bucks wrapped up in it because, like I said, the graphics are going to cost a little bit because I'm going to keep it as OEM as possible. I'm probably going to go ahead and do another seat cover. Steering stem used. Got another one of those, about a hundred bucks. Uh, one of the motor mounts had a crack in it. Replaced that. There was a few things that I ended up ordering. Um, and I got a couple used parts from people. I got to check out the rear caliper. It's kind of stuck. So I'm either going to do a rebuild kit or something like that on it. Let's see what else. I got a headlight assembly. Um, yeah, got plenty going on here. We've got a lot of work done to it since the last video. And what we're going to be doing is going over everything that we've gotten done and restoring this thing back to being close to factory, but being like a factory resto mod. So let's get to it. All right, everyone, if you checked out the video before, what we did is do a lot of work to the LTR 450. When we first got it, it was white, had some beat up wheels on it. It looked kind of rough. I mean, it did run and start, but in that last video, we did get it to take throttle. This one's just been basically about getting it cleaned up. But yeah, we did get the thing running, found out that the injector was kind of clogged. We did reseal up the fuel pump. We put a new fuel filter in it. We went with the Napa 3011, I'm thinking that's the part. And it filters down to small, smaller microns than the swirl filter. So this one should filter a little bit better. However, the thing that's really the problem with is that it doesn't last as long, it doesn't have as long life. I was gonna put it back on this machine, however, it was expensive. That undersill plate itself was like 100 bucks. Then you get the swirl filter and it's always best to upgrade it to a billet bowl. Then you have the billet bowl and all that that you get to get installed. Then the swirl filter itself, not just the, the swirl filter itself, not just the bracket. I mean, it was going to be $250 up in that area to get this all put back on. And I was like, nah, so we're good. This one filters just as well, except for a couple little things we had to do. But let's go ahead and take a look at this machine, get up close and personal and talk about what we've gotten done. So first things first, we did get the frame itself blasted and powder coated. So first things first, we did get the frame blasted and repainted. The paint we used is a indigo ink. It is a Toyota color. So this is as close as you can pretty much get to being the factory blue. I did use my Harbor Freight pressure blaster right here, and it worked wonderful getting this thing stripped down. So we blasted all of that off, got it down to pretty much raw, as well as the front A arms. We got all that disconnected, got it all taken apart, and got it blasted. We put two coats of color on, as well as two coats of two-part clear. Two-part clear is a 2K clear. It is a clear in the hardener. So I use the HVLP gun for that. We got all that done. We repacked the bearings with grease, put the bearings and everything, put the A-arms back on. I do have a couple pieces of hardware, as you see right here, that I'm going to have to um, secure down. But we got all that done. Next is we got the motor out. The motor was taken out. We soda blasted the motor and made it look a lot nicer. Also, at the same time with the motor, what I decided to do was powder coat the cases. The ca cases are a aluminum, polished aluminum cover. So we did the stator side cover, the clutch cover, water pump, oil cover, put a new oil filter in there, as well as the heat shield. Also powder coated that same color is the rear arm, subframe, bumpers, front and rear. The front bumper was black and we took it back to that silver color. We also got the A-arms, we just cleaned those up real, the, we also have the tie rods and we also just cleaned those up really good with a scotch bright pad. I soda blasted the radiator to get it nice and clean. I got a new fan or a new used fan from Craig Withrow. He sent me a couple parts that, he sent me that front motor mount. He's gonna be sending me the headlight bracket or the headlight bracket and the wires. I decided to go back and put the factory wire back on it. So he's a really upfront guy and you always do good with working with him. We did recoat just the motor mounts. Everything up top is good. 
This is the Yoshi pipe. We cleaned it all up. So this look here has taken away all that overspray or a good bit of that overspray that we had on it. So there was white overspray on all this. It doesn't look perfect, but it looks a lot better. There was white overspray all over the tank. We got all that cleaned up as well. Overspray all back here. Like I said, we cleaned up as much as I kind of could without going too far. Bearings are packed everywhere. If it had bad bearings in it, they did get replaced. We're back up to the front. We have the stock wiring. He actually sent me the lights right there as well because my other ones weren't any good. But I cleaned up the brake lines, got them all down. We soda blasted the front calipers on both sides. I have to also put tighten up those lower banjo bolts, but we did tight, clean all that up. We cleaned the hubs up, put a new bearing on the front rotors, and we powder coated those shields, those heat shields right there, those brake dust shields. Coming back up, we put a new bushing in the front. That's the old cap, but we're gonna have a different stem that's gonna go in there. Stock stem had a little bend to it, so we're gonna replace that. I mean, we've replaced a lot of parts on it just to get it back to being solid. Back here, this could use a little bit more cleaning, but I didn't wanna to go too, too crazy with it and powder coat it all. I am going to use the soda blaster and just clean up this bracket right here just to make it look a lot better. But this whole arm has been powder coated and everything, so it looks great. We don't have the shocks on her yet because they we just haven't gotten that far into it because I put new bearings. I'm going to be putting new bearings in them. Here, we've got a new tail light. Got to clean out the filter, which was new and everything. But overall, we're ready to get it rolling. And I did clean up all that wiring. It had that blue wiring crap going on there. I did clean up all that wiring. I put a new battery box on it. I did use a three-eighths gas shutoff valve right here. So off, on, off. And we have the yeah, Napa 3011 filter in there. And let's see. Just go ahead and turn. Got a new key in there. Fuel pump priming. Turn the key. So as you see, it starts. It looks absolutely wonderful. I am happy with how everything is turning out right now. Oh, I'm so ready for it. So what we're going to be doing is finishing this up. I have a couple parts that I need to get powder coated black. Uh, then I'm going to be going for the rear tires and the front wheels. We'll be figuring those out here in a minute. I want to go silver just to keep it back to the factory look, but the black, the back wheels have a little bit of beat up on them. And I don't know if that'll make it look worse or better, probably worse, but we'll figure that out here shortly. I'm going to get all that dismounted and then we'll be coming back to you here shortly. All right, so you see the LTR sitting back there. Uh, just going to give a little bit of anticipation, but it looks completely different. We did do a lot of work to it, so you all know I powder coated everything. I did a whole lot to it, cleaned it up. I mean, let's just take a look now since you all are like, what the heck? So here we are. I mean, to start down with it, we did break it down, get that frame cleaned all up, sandblasted it down to raw, coated it with the Toyota, as I stated. Then we put the motor in. Motor has been soda blasted on the upper half. Soda blasted everything, but I powdered the heat shield, the water pump, the oil pump cover or the oil filter cover, and as well as the clutch side. Powder coated those Nerf bars back silver. I powder coated them silver. The black was beat up and I didn't want to go back. I wanted to keep it as clean as possible. Those front rims, these are the ones that came with it. They're powder coated the same, aluminum, polished aluminum, as well as the rears. Now the rears do have some nicks and stuff in them. I didn't want, I didn't claim that I was gonna be able to make them new. I just wanted to make them look a lot better. Subframe, swing arm, front bumper, all powder coated. Black things have been powder coated, like this bracket's been powder coated. The steering stem has been powder coated. Handlebars, they were back silver powder coated. I didn't go all crazy and do all this stuff up here. I did powder coat this one because it looked horrible. This one could use a fresh coat of something on it, but 
I didn't want to have to go and buy a new window because once you took it apart and powder coated it, it would destroy that window in there. And I would have to go with a new window. Pro taper, bumper pad, bars, OEM, electronics, tusk, cap. I mean, it starts right up with no problem. This ain't got no chain on it right now because I'm waiting on a master link and it was easier to roll it out here without, but... down here i do have the oem heat shield or the oem sprocket cover that's going to go back on there that and the oem chain slide i mean whoever gets it can decide if they want to do that themselves put new front uh mx tracks tires on it these are what came on it so i just want to hit and just put something on there that was just going to be able to get it didn't need to go over budget kind of crazy with it took the front shocks off clean those up with the uh Brillo pad and the Scotch Right pad. I put new bearings in the top and the bottom of this. They have bearings in these shocks, new bearings. Then I powder coated the springs red as well as the rear spring. Back here, I put a dual caliper so it kept me from having to use that block off. And that's why you have the second run of clamps there. I thought about just taking those off and cutting them off and repowder coating it, but I didn't really want to stress over it. Used my scotch right and cleaned up that Yoshi mirror pipe. It was a little bit beat up. It is still kind of beat up and not perfect in there, but I did go ahead and clean that up as well. Put a new tail light on it. I bought these flares from someone on the LTR HQ group and the headlight as well. I mean, it's coming along nice. Stickers were one of these ones from Argentina kits, like an OEM replica. I don't know how perfect it is, but it definitely fits the design of what I wanted. Yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and finish this one up in this video. Just finish the whole thing. I'm going to get the back the back plastic stripped. They were white. These were the ones that came on it. What I did do was hit it with some 300 sandpaper and cleaned up as best as I could. Then I hit it with some, wanting to say 600 and 1000. Then I used a 2K clear and adhesion promoter. Got them back with a nice looking shine on them. Like I said, not perfect, not a perfect machine, but definitely better than what it was. Same process that I'm going to use for the rears. But we're going to get all that done in this video, get it looking nice and ready to be moved out. But overall, it's a solid machine. Very, very solid machine. Like I said, we have new oil filter and new oil in it, new antifreeze. I mean, it's great. Soda blasted the the radiator to make it look a lot cleaner now down here as you see those are really rusted those brackets i did go ahead and just powder coat those well i did just sandblast those and i seracoded them just because i didn't know how thick powder coating will be and if it will cause more of a challenge to get that stuff on there or not but like i said i think it looks great for what we're going to be doing with it or what it is going to be has rear wheel spacers on it. I don't really see that as a problem. Makes the back end a little bit water. I am going to clean up the axle a little bit better. This is not as clean as where I'd like it to be. Powder coated the hubs over here. I mean, yeah, we did a lot to it. Put that heat shield there. That one was not there. Got all the wiring what it should be. I did go with the Napa 3011 fuel filter and the 3 8 barb shut off so you can shut that off and change your filters but yeah let's get this last touches on here and get this thing done oh yeah one of the last things is seat cover i took that black crappy one off there and i bought one of these ones from ebay that was kind of like stock color really nice to be what it is i mean it's not super expensive maybe like 40 bucks 30 bucks and i mean it definitely brings that oem look back i think the oem one has like no passengers written across the back this one doesn't but it brings you back to that oem feel and look of the quad we're back in here preparing the rear parts of the plastics remember this is all white we're going back down to the yellow so what we decided to use was some aircraft remover works absolutely wonderful bubbles this all up and then soon after pressure washer once everything's nice and wrinkled so this is pretty wrinkled pretty great but, you know, I'm just waiting on a little bit of area like this, like this, just to make sure it's wrinkled as possible. So when the pressure wash, you can get the majority off. Hopefully just two coats is all I need to be able to do to get this 
looking to where we're ready to be like that. So we already got the back side of it wet sanded and cleaned up and all that stuff off the outside. I didn't really worry about what's under the seat. I just was concerned more about the fenders. But, yeah, we're moving along. So we got the machine complete and doesn't it look amazing? I did lose my footage of me closing this video out. So what I'm going to do is a voiceover over these beautiful pictures. It turned out absolutely amazing. I would easily give this quad a 8.5 to 9 out of 10. All the powder makes it look absolutely new. But you have to understand that we did powder over pre-existing used parts. So some of the deep gouges I was not able to get out and I didn't even try to get out. I just decided to go ahead and powder over it. Just give it a nice fresh look. So when I sold this one. It did go for a good price and it didn't have really have any issues. I felt like I went over the machine completely. We documented everything and this is exactly what somebody would want if they wanted a nice dependable quad. So if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. We'll be working on our next quad here soon and we'll be seeing what the channel is going to bring to us.